There's been a lot of things said here tonight, and uh, I debated what I was going to say to that. And first and foremost, I stand here as a Christian with the Lord and my Savior. But it hurts when I hear a lot of the stuff that's been spread to the media, spread by some of us sitting around here. I'm a sinner. Everyone's for sinners. But with that said, we're not perfect. Our community's not perfect. But we're damn good. And with that said, we have a damn good police department. I know we're not perfect. We handle issues when they come up and we deal with them. And what happened in Minnesota since last freaking Monday, things we don't put out in the media, we have met with our officers. We have sat down and watched the videos. We have sat down and talked with them. And it's still going on because we haven't gotten through everybody. We have put out training to ensure something like this doesn't happen here. Because you know what? All my officers are mad too. You know why? Because this takes us back so far of all the stuff we have tried to do over the last freaking seven years of my being chief. And even before with the other chiefs. We have a good department. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. And we own up our damn mistakes. Excuse my language, I shouldn't have said that. But we own up to it. And we take our lunch and we move on. There's personal matters that I cannot talk about in public. But as I told some of the media last night, I'm proud of our department. We are a leader in this state. The state of Illinois is a leader in the country. When it comes to progressiveness, progressiveness and transparency, I fired three guys since I've been the chief of police, and it ain't easy, and it ain't fun, and that's part of the job, and I'll do it again if I have to. If the, if, the, if the case rises to that, that's what will happen. But my officers have rights as well. With that said, no one, and let me make this straight and clear so everybody knows where the hell I stand on this. What happened in Minnesota was wrong. The officials there moved faster than anybody I have ever seen in my life to fire four people within 48 hours and then arrest somebody within 72 hours. They're doing the right things up there. Justice will be held there. I'm sure that gentleman's going to jail and then the other three, I'm sure there'll be charges forthcoming, but we gotta give them an opportunity. And I pray it doesn't happen here. And that's why you train, you train, you train. And people ask, what, what do you do, Chief? Well, we train on de-escalation multiple times a year. We train on human rights, constitutional law, constitutional policing. We do things. But we still make mistakes because we're all sinners. And then we hold our people accountable. And that's what we will do here. And the actions of one officer, I don't know how many miles away, changed the rest of us in law enforcement across this nation. And that's the message that we deliver to our troops. Watch what you do out there. Be cognizant. Because one thing you do can run it for the rest of us. But it's going to happen. We're going to make mistakes because we're not perfect. We're not robots. We're not, and neither none of you. Additionally, what my officer said and typed on social media was 100% wrong. I called Alderman Gregory. I spoke to him. I spoke to Alderman Turner. And if you, on behalf of the men and women of the Springfield Police Department, I'll say it here. I'm deeply sorry for what my officer did. He messed up and I will hold him accountable. He messed up. He shouldn't have said what he said. And it will be dealt with and I won't talk any more about that personal issue the rest of the time. Again, Alder McGregory, I've known you for a long time. On behalf of the Springfield Police Department, and I hope you accept it, I'm sorry. Alderman Turner, I've known you for an long, even longer time probably. And on behalf of the Springfield Police Department, I am sorry. We will move forward. We will get through this. And the day that we can get through this is the day I'll step down. So with that, thank you. Thank you, Chief. That's why I uh, chose you as Chief. You keep it real. So thank you very much.